Happy Friday night, fellow comic book fans. Uh, this is the night that I review some comics from the previous Wednesday. What I'm going to do is one that I didn't like and the top three that I did. I'm going to do them separate uh, just so I can talk about each one individually. So... What did I like? What did I not like? Stay tuned. Happy Friday night, people. It's that time again. It is time for Friday Night Reviews. I had a lot of comics to uh, review this week. If you checked out my LCS haul from Bosco's, which I posted on Wednesday. So, it was kind of interesting to pick things that I wanted to review. There was only a couple of comments that I didn't really enjoy that much. And there were some average ones and a couple that were, some that were really good. So tonight I'm going to do something that and different because there is a tie for the worst comic of the week. And when I say of the week, it's the stuff that I've read. You know, there's things that I don't get, so obviously I can't speak for the ones that I haven't read. But you know, these are all for stuff that I've read. The tie for this week, for worst, one of them is kind of surprising because one of them is by Jeff Lanier. His stuff is usually pretty revered, and the stuff I've read by him is usually pretty good. This one, I didn't think so. It is also a series, another one by a series of someone else who is usually pretty revered, uh, Neil Gaiman. But this one wasn't actually written by Neil Gaiman, it's just in his universe. So, the two that I have for the worst for this week is uh, the Sandman Universe. Hellblazer. This is written by Simon Spurrier, uh, Marcio Takara, I'm assuming does the art, and Chris Peter, I think does colors or letters or something like that. Now, I'm really just getting into you know, uh, Hellblazer. I like Constantine. Uh, a lot of the stuff I've read about him is really entertaining. But this one, I don't get. I think this is another soft reboot. It's a kind of a, you know, a new thing where they're trying to restart a new series. Uh, it's got him, turns out he's in a mental institution for a little bit and he's not quite sure what's going on and you know, uh, it, it starts out with him on the ground during a fight with some magical invasion and all the, the big dogs the Superman and Wonder Woman just as are up in the air fighting someone and he's downstairs trying to down on the ground trying to do the magical stuff with a friend of his and dealing with his you know, magical stuff and his issues. It was a little odd. Um, I, I was like, okay, whatever. Um, now, the, the art was, you know how in a lot of horror stories, horror comics nowadays, the art is a little kind of scratchy to sort of 
fit the uh, horror aspect of it. This was one of those kinds. But to me, it didn't work. And the story was just not really that entertaining. Because I was like, okay, what, what the hell? Uh, you know, and I'm just... Wow. So, okay, and then... The other one would be... Joker... Killer Smile. Jeff Lemire, Lemire, Andrea Sorrentino, I think she does the art, and Jordi Belair, who I've just recently become aware of, she does the colors. But, you know, she's usually pretty good at this stuff, um, as is uh, Lemire. I don't know who the other woman is, so I can't you know, say anything about that. And this is a black label book. You know, we've got I already got two magazine size black label books of the Joker out. You have you know, Harleen and the Joker, Harleen, the Harley Quinn thing. You know, you have Harleen where she's uh, goes into her, her history, which is kind of a soft reboot, and how she you know, meets the Joker and starts uh, analyzing him. And you also have the other one where Harleen. Harley Quinn is the profiler, and the Joker is the serial killer. Doubles are both excellent books. This one, I really have no, you know, this is just kind of a, another rehashing, which I think is uh, kind of an attempt, an attempt to cash in on this stuff, and it's not a good one, which is kind of upsetting for me, because... Up to this date, I, most of the Black Label stuff that I've read is pretty good. And I didn't get The New Gods, which is the only Black Label book that I haven't gotten. The only other Black Label book that I didn't really dig that much was Superman Year One, and that was just Frank Miller being Frank Miller. Modern Frank Miller being Frank Miller. Um... So this is kind of upsetting. Uh, the art wasn't good. The story was just, yeah. I'll probably want to get the second one just because you know, I'm one of those people that wants to start something, especially if it's a miniseries, I don't want to end it. I mean, I've, I've, you know, there's other regular series that, you know, that keep going. If I don't like it, I'll stop, but I would probably get the rest of this one just to complete the series. But let's just say uh, Hellblazer, I'm going to give that a 1 out of 5. And Joker, Killer Smile, I'm also going to give that a 1 out of 5. And I know I'm not going to get the Sandman Universe Hellblazers anymore. And probably just get the Joker killer smile things and hope that it'll get better or at least just to complete the series. And okay, so what do you think? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? Uh, let me know and uh, like and subscribe.